All right, we're going to talk a little bit about timelines today and some basic concepts of them. So first of all, I'll give you the setup of what I've done so far. Um, as you can see here, I've just created a room, and in that room I have three objects. One is just a, an animated sprite. One is just a box with a couple of different frames in it. And the last one is just a control object with no, with no uh, sprite attached to it. Um, looking at the objects right here, we'll go over those briefly. Object player, there's really nothing in that right now. So since she is animated, as soon as the room opens, she will animate. Um, object block, a little different. And this is the one that's actually going to start the timeline. So if you can see here, we've created a timeline called timeline example, TML underscore example. All right. And um, we're going to start this timeline from this create statement. So what we do is we say timeline index underscore index is equal to timeline example and timeline running equals true. And that means the box, and again, the block will run the timeline. And that's important to understand that it's the block that's running it. And then image speed is equal to zero, which means the block won't animate. Uh, not a whole lot else in there. Um, object control will show you real quick. Whoops. Object control will show you real quick. Just sets a, a variable called message to false, and then it has a draw event that uh, draws a font. And I did set up a font for this. It uh, draws set font, draws set color as normal, and then if message is true, draw here is some text somewhere at the 350 200 mark on the thing. As you can see, if we run this particular program, and last but not least, you can tell obviously here that if I edit sprite block has a couple images in addition to the sprite player has several images uh, to it and she'll actually animate. All right. So if I run the program right now, not much is happening with the exception of the player is animating and the block is not and there is no text is what we should see off the top because that message was false. So let's make a couple changes and we'll do that using a timeline. So we'll go over here to timeline example, and there's nothing in there. We'll add, and we got to understand right now our frames per second is 30 frames per second. So that is one second is equal to 30. So after three seconds, which would be 90, let's do something. And on step 90, we're just going to go grab a piece of paper over here. And the first thing we'll do is we'll enlarge both images. And we'll put three so we can see it. And to enlarge anything, you use image x scale is equal to 2. And this will be the block, by the way, because we talked about the block called the timeline image y scale equals 2. Now, if I want to uh, enlarge the actual player herself, the one with the girl, she does not call the timeline. So I'll actually have to use dot notation. So I'm going to use object underscore player dot x scale. Uh, sorry, image underscore x scale equals, and I'll bring her up to three, and object player dot image underscore y scale is equal to three. So again, notice the difference. Since the block called, since the block called the timeline, then all I have to do is put in image x scale and y scale. But since the player did not, then I have to use dot notation to do that. Um, so there's one thing, and I'll add one more thing in there. So another three seconds would be 90 more seconds, so that'd be 180. And what we'll do with this one was we'll stop one's animation and we'll play the other one's animation. Um, so let's go here for code and we'll drag it over. And we'll say this is on play or stop animation. So same basic concepts here. The block's image speed, I can just pull up by saying image speed. And I'm going to set it to 0.5, about half, because I don't want it to blink too awfully quickly. However, if I want to mess with the player's image speed and I want to slow her down or speed her up or whatever I want to do, I have to use dot notation object underscore player dot image underscore speed equals. We'll just slow her way down. We're going to make her 0.1 and she'll just slow down drastically, maybe even 0.05. So we'll definitely see the difference there. Okay. And last but not least, let's go ahead and draw that thing on the screen. So if I'm going to say add and I want that stuff to show up, another 90 seconds would bring us at 270 as far as our timeline goes. If I can actually type 270 and we say OK, I go ahead and grab another piece of paper. I throw it over here and I say draw text. 
and simply uh, we got to look at obj underscore control dot and it's variable that we work on with this message and we're just going to set it equal to true okay so again object block is the one that started the timeline so anything else such as control and player if we want to mess with their variables we have to use dot notation and we just say go and I'm hoping at this point in time, if I run this rascal, we will see that it'll start off like we saw before. Uh, the girls animated the block is not. In three seconds, they both should get bigger. In three more seconds, the animation should change. The girl will slow way down. The block will start animating. And in three more seconds, it'll say, here is some text. And there's your tutorial for working with timelines a little bit. That's some ideas. Thanks.